Yoshida versus Hagiara. Ooh, the name of Hagiara is going a little bit out of bounds right here. Let me correct this right away. Here we go. Perfect. So, both players have already participated to the, to the uh, Birdro Cup. I do believe that ha they have never played against each other. So this is probably a first, uh, both players playing against each other respectfully. And uh, that being said, I do believe that Hagiara had most, well, generally speaking, had a better tournament round, generally speaking, than Yoshida-san. So it might be a little bit of an uphill battle for Yoshida-san, but that being said, as I say this, Yoshida-san is completely dominating the very first round of this tournament. And just like this, he manages to actually take the first round. So I'm probably talking out of my butt right now. <laughs> but that being said, Hagiara is definitely no stranger to comebacks. He has been... Uh, down two uh, matches in previous iteration of the Brojo Cup and managed to bring it back all uh, three in a row. So I'm definitely uh, not, I'm, I'm not too uh, scared for him. He just needs to, you know, start the engine a little bit. It might take a little bit of time. That being said, here we go with Yoshida having Hagiara getting in the corner. Hagiara trying to get out of it. Yeah, okay, take a little bit of a courage. He goes for the fake cross up. Okay, both back in the neutral and here we go with the fart. Yes, and this is, yeah, this is gonna kill, actually. Good stuff from Yoshida. Very, very solid first round right there. Definitely made me eat my own words. <laughs> so let's see if he can continue in this uh, in this path or if uh, Hagiara changes character. I don't believe it's gonna be the case, though, but let's see, let's see, let's see. There might be... Oh, okay, let's see. どうなっていますでしょうか? What is going on? Oh, okay, okay, here we go. I think that Hagiara just needed a little bit of time to breathe, I guess. And he's got it right now, so let's see how this goes. And big, big 6p counter hit right there for Yoshida. Follows with the direct line, has the corner positioning. That being said, Rigo with Hagiara fighting his way out of it. And the nicer bar from Yoshida gets the knockdown. And also, here we go, the tick, the tick pressure with the throw. He goes with the 2s. Finishes the combo with the, uh, what's called the, um, I forgot the name. What's his name? Everybody hates it, by the way. It's the Stun Dipper. Here you go. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. The 2K2D. Hagiara has one minion on the screen. Two minion. Is that the beginning of the very, very suffocating pressure of Hagiara? Or of Jacko in general? Oh, very nice with you right there. A lot of damage. But Yoshida managed to get out of the corner yet again. Ah, that direct club whiffed a bit, but Yoshida made it safe by using some tension bar. Very nice, just defends right here. Yoshida, very, very solid defense right now. Doesn't want to overextend, doesn't want to get open with a frame trap right there. Manages to find the jump in. Push, oh, very nice tick throw right there from Yoshida. Oh, very good, the BRC. Hagiara manages to get out of the corner. Okay, he uses the pressure of, of Jackal combined with the minion to keep the pressure going on Yoshida, very nice back that forces the burst on Yoshida and Yoshida on point with the 6p, not gonna lie, very nice to HS right there from Hagiara okay things are looking pretty good for Hagiara, he does have a little bit of resource tension wise, he has the tension right now, has the burst he's looking pretty good but man Yoshida man just freaking running right out of it and here we go, uh, Hagiara probably wary of the DP right there. This might be the reason why he kind of took uh, his distance from Yoshida. Very nice, okay? Manages to get a deep first round of... Uh, the second round of this first match, actually. this like, We still haven't seen one match yet. Damn, that's crazy, man. That's uh, a... Um, that just proves that both uh, opponents have pretty much similar levels, I suppose. Which is pretty high, if you ask me. Very nice level of play right there, and no! Wow, that 6p, that last second 6p, and he's got the back dash of Yoshida. Here we go, Yoshida's life hanging by a thread. What is he gonna do? Here we go with the... Oh, Lord! Hagiara using the fact that Yoshida was completely on the minion. His, all of his attention was directed to the minion. He uh, committed to the 6p, killed the minion, but then was left completely open for Hagiara to uh, basically deal the uh, the killing blow. Good stuff from Hagiara. Uh, unfortunate for Yoshida. Oh, here we go. Both opponents just going over each other. <laughs> that was pretty fun. And here we go with the tick pressure. With the, the, the corner pressure, actually. Wait, oh lord. And that was a badly timed neutral. Badly timed uh, button right here because Yoshida took this opportunity to actually side switch using the grab. Doesn't get the wall bounce. Okay, here we go, one minion on deck. 
Three minions on deck. Oh lord, and that jump in. Ah, uh, Hagia didn't believe in it. Can you go with the... Uh, yeah, Yoshida. You can see Hagia is really, really wary of the... Uh, of the pressure of Kai. And just like this, Yoshida brings it bad good stuff from him. So let's see if nobody calls me. Nobody called me perfect. I like it not when nobody calls me. Just one thing. Okay, okay. okay, here we go. The juggle from Hagia. And look at that. Oh my lord, that combo is crazy. And that didn't use any bar at all. Only the juggle with the minions and uh, and Jacko. Go Yoshida really liking that stun dipper, but I mean, this is the trademark of every Kai player, if you ask me. <laughs> this and running from one edge to the screen to the other just to grab your opponent. These are the two trademarks of Kai players. Anyways, here we go with the tick pressure use. Oh, very nice conversion using the minions. I unfortunately didn't get the damage of the grab right here, which could have added to all of the latter part of the combo. You go with the... Oh, stun dipper juggle. Very nice. Shimmy, if we might say, uh, forced, well, invited Hagiara to actually, oh lord, uh, this, yeah, oh no, and the stun dip, not the stun dip, the food were dark, and very nice 6 very different Yoshida catches, uh, Hagiara trying to jump out of the corner, and just like this, we have a match, ladies and gentlemen, one round a piece, one match a piece, what am I talking about, what am I talking about, and okay, here we go, oh, immediately, immediately, man, Hagiara just running straight to Yoshida, doing the 2k 2d, this very, very pesky pressure from Jackalman 2k 2d. Very nice buttons right here. Okay, here we go with the aerial. Oh! Okay, very nice. Just defend right there from Hagiara. Managed to actually punish Yoshida. This is a, a direct claw. Oh, Gary. Food or Dark, nobody's home. Okay, with the stun edge. Oh, no! 6p right there, unfortunately, for Hagiara. Yoshida used the jumping D of uh, Clyde in order to um, make it so that his fall was a little bit slower than expected and therefore didn't get 6 speed for it. Okay, here we go again using the sit. Ah, this, this the jumping D man. This has been like the the bane of Hagia. <laughs> trying to trying to entire Yoshida, but yeah, Yoshida just being very very uh, nimble. I think we say. Oh lord, and here we go, the golden burst! Oh lord, and that 2D, man. Ah, nope. Yoshida holding on to his burst. I think that was the correct, uh, the correct, the correct choice for him, not gonna lie. And here we go with the, ah, the second round of this third match. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the direct, wow, and the clash in favor of Hagiara, but here we go with Yoshida waking up with the DP, goes for the quick dust. Cancelled with the Roman cancel. And gets the corner uh, combo into the wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus. Just goes straight and grabs him, man. I just talked about it, man. One edge to the other, grab. That's the Kai Super right there. It's not the uh, Ride the Lightning. It's not the Dragon Install. It's just run one from one edge of the screen to the other and grab your opponent. That's the true super of every Kai player. <laughs> Here we go with the Sacred Edge. Gonna get the, um, the uh, what's called the Hard Knockdown. I wonder if there's a damage difference between Sacred Edge and Ride the Lightning. And here we go with the 2S counter hit, not counter, yes, counter hit actually. And here we go, the juggle, and Yoshida should be able to take it. Oof, I got, uh, learn to be more patient, of course, man. The Nod versus Ninja Kamen. Nod has been a returning uh, member of the tournament, uh, of the Brojo Cup tournament. So very, very happy to him to see him come back today as well and Ninja Kamen is a newcomer I do believe I never I don't think we had the uh, opportunity to see him uh, come over well to, to play in this tournament before I do believe I, I fought against him on the celestial uh, on the celestial um, what's it called um, on, on the celestial floor I think I, I fought him before his uh, his his handle actually it talks to me it speaks to me but anyways that being said here we go with Ninja Kamen getting the wall break and he's gonna get a very... Oh no! He just let go of the pressure, unfortunately. But it's still okay. Here we go with the DP, man. Just let it rock. He's gonna get deep wall break. Not enough to kill, unfortunately, because a damage output of... Uh, of Chip is not very good. <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, here we go with the grab from Not. And it goes for the safe jump. Gets it. Oh no, and nobody home on the spiral arrow. Is he gonna get the juggle? No, unfortunately, no. But he goes for a... 
uh, for the aerial offense and manages to take the kill on the first round of this match. Uh, a little bit late on the whiff punish right there. Here we go, the 2S pressure. Okay, and both players really, really wary. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Ninja coming and the grab. Woo, and not with your bar right there. Manages to get a double hit not only on chip but also on the uh clone and here we go at ninja come in with one too many bag dash and not gets the kill very good stuff from not takes the first match of this encounter right there let's see how this pans out on to the second match here we go to 2k today oh and here we go with the knockdown from ninja come in forces not to pop the burst He's got the corner pressure. Nice six period there from Ninja Kamen. Didn't get any knockdown though because of. Uh, oh, and here we go with the quick overhead. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, Ninja Kamen not using his tension in order to get the. Oh, Lord, and just run straight. Oh, and here we go with the overhead for the kill with a perfect. That was a, quite the statement from Ninja Kamen. Let's see how this pans out. With the jumping 2D. Forest from Not. No one's home. Nice dash into the two, the standing K into the Troval. Wow, no! Ah, this is gonna be nice. It wasn't a troll, it's the Sepultura. I think it is. I really need to. <laughs> I need to to see what is the name. Oh lord, and here we go. The Abari pressure and not getting a counter. It this did a lot of damage. Ah, he goes for the quick dust. New oh no, Giovanna! Oh, but it's okay. He went for the fake cross up, but just like this, not nah, man brings it back. Well, not that he has anything to bring back since since he's in the lead right now, um, like score wise. But it's always nice to have. Anyways, here we go with the uh, Sukiyaki from Ninja coming. Oh, again, here we go with the extension using the Roman cancel. Here we go with the safe jump. This is gonna do a lot of damage in the counter hit, man. Counter hit. HS into HS into the uh, nascent, not nascent, the um, how do you call it? I forgot. The um, uh, the God Lord, I forgot it. Not nascent, it's the uh, Ventania, Ventania. My bad. I keep forgetting the move, the names of the moves of Giovanna all the time. It's so bothersome. <laughs> I need to really remember them better. So the spiral arrow is the Trovao, I think. Sepultura is the end of the combos that uh, they she usually does with which causes a hard knockdown the puente is the kickflip and the there's another one i think the nasante nasante is the easiest one to remember yeah and then you have the ventania i think and i do not remember what's the aerial overdrive at all but anyways that being said here we go with ninja kamen getting the first round oh, that it's actually two to zero yeah it's called spiral arrow exactly it's called spiral arrow exactly it's 2-0 for not, if I'm correct. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I'm correct. It's 2-0 for not. And here we go to 2K2D for Ninja Kamen. He wants to get that corner pressure and goes... He's just... Oh, Lord, and he's got the burst. Nice burst, not. <laughs> he's going for the damage right there. Gets the wall break. Aerial overdrive is called suppress from above. Death from above, I'd call it. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the Puente and Ninja Kamen just popping that DP, man. Doesn't give a F. And just like this, Ninja Kamen is up one match. Finally puts one on the board. We have not yet a match, but we probably will have one in the near future. <laughs> and here we go with the pressure of Yo Ah Giovanna. Unfortunately, the bar from Ninja Kamen, man. Not relentless with this bar. Wake up, DP just as I speak. And the 2K TD right there from not managed to forced not to pop the burst uh not not the ninja come to pop the burst and here we go with the aerial pressure goes for the empty low gets the overhead and he's gonna get the wall break with positive bonus ninja coming <laughs> ninja come in come in <laughs> ninja come in it means ninja uh, ninja how do you call it? ninja mask well it's not come in it's come in sorry ninja come in mm. Anyways, here we go. And here we go with the spiral arrow. He gets the juggle right there. Here we go with, again, the Trovao for the wall break. Woo! Very nice standing K right there. Caught the overhead and he's even got the burst. And just like this, not with the burst bait moves to Chia also. 
to Tia, who is probably the strongest Melia in Japan, but Yuhi is a very, very close second. I... You should trust me. Really trust me on this one. Yuhi, extremely strong melee player. Anyways, your eyes... Uh, just feast your eyes on this a very, very nice match that is uh, unfolding. You shall see by yourself if Yuhi is worthy of the title of strongest melee in Japan or second strongest. I'm not quite sure, but extremely strong. That is a given. Here we go with the air to air in favor of Yuhi. Gets the counter hit. Here we go with the no corner, no wall break, unfortunately, but it's okay. He forces Bro to pop the bird, the DYRC. Very nice close S counter hit. This did a ton of damage. And here we go, he goes for the cross up. Nobody can see. Ooh, that was probably a misinput, but it's okay. Man manages to get a, a side switch using the um, the the quick fall from uh, from from you know, from uh, Millet. That was crazy, man. Okay, here we go. Start of the second round. How is Bro going to deal with all of this pressure? Very nice uh, air to air right there to kill the minion and just the regular jump in from you. He too get a counter hit. And here we go with the corner pressure. And Yuhi getting the wall break. Good stuff. What is gonna be the start? Oh lord, no whiff punish right there. The 2D, nice block. He gets the jump in. You, he goes for the side switch and gets the juggle. Is it gonna be it? Oh, it's gonna be enough to kill thanks to the wall break added damage. Very nicely done by you. He gets the first match. Very, very convincingly. What is bro going to do? What is my bro gonna do? <laughs> Let's see how this spins out. And on to the second match. And bro, unfortunately, gets immediately anti aired right there from you. He. Back to the neutral, and yeah, Yuhi taken to the air, gets the uh, gets the knockdown, unfortunately, and basically forces Bro to pop the burst. And here we go, the quick fall gets grabbed on his way down, though. Woo! Okay, very nice close S right there from Yuhi, manages to anti air Bro. What's the mix? He goes for the MT low, and this is gonna be a wall break, <laughs> not the kill. Uh, obviously, yeah. Oh, Lord! Uh-oh, uh-oh, did you press a button? Nope. You, he was respectful. Respected that, it, it, that there just might be this low opportunity, this low uh, risk that bro actually pops the overdrive, but he actually did, and you, he was on point right there. They didn't get hit by it. And here we go with the sledge. I like to call this move for the wall break. Very nice forest right there from Yuhi. Yuhi on point with the whiff punishes, not gonna lie. Oh, Lord. Oh, and the Rose gets him near his opponent. Gets the juggle, man. And the corner carry is real, man. And here we go with Bro, man. Oh, good Lord. Where is he? Oh, my good Lord. And Yuhi with the perfect moves is uh, up 2-0. to zero. What is Bro gonna do? I may or may not got, have got Grant. <laughs> Stuff happens. It's normal, don't worry. Okay, and here we go. Oh, very nice. There's the fan right there from Bro. Finally gets something on. Gets the gold burst from Yuhi. And here we go with the minion pressure. Goes for a grab. Unfortunately, Yuhi was on point as well. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. What are you gonna do? You have to press a button. Oh, Lord, but nobody's here. No, you hate to see it. Nobody can scold you for playing top tier in this silly. <laughs> oh, good Lord. I wish I could confirm everything too, so, so not so. Then here we go, the grab by Bro, he's gonna get the- Oh, almost got the juggle and the kill! He definitely wants this one. Yes, and here we go, the 2k for the kill, good stuff from Bro, finally puts one on the board! This is in the NF though, indeed. Here we go, the aerial fireball! Ah, uh, no, and very nice grab right there from Bro, finally gets something going. Ah, uh, no, but gets jumped on by Yuhi, who goes for the empty low for the X? For the the rest of his pressure gets the wall break. Hmm. Good lord! Oh, here we go to jump it. Ah, it gets grabbed once again. Bro, of really on point with the grabs, man. Again with the grab, man. Bro, the the grab master. No, they didn't go for the overdrive. It would have killed. It would have definitely killed. That must have been a, a misinput. Oh, and here we go with the quick dust into the Roman cancel for the kill. Good stuff, by bro. Finally puts one on the board. One to two. What is going to happen? We shall see. Oh, here we go with the air to air. Very nice juggle right there from Bro. That was pretty nice, not gonna lie. I probably wanted the burst. That's the reason why he was just spamming the uh, the 2P right there. 
Oh, and here we go with the minion pressure forces you see to pop the burst. Getting back to neutral. Very nice jumping by you. He goes for the overhead. Forces bro to pop the burst. Oh good lord. Oh no, and the jumping by bro gets the knockdown. Oh, and gets grabbed this time around by Yuhi. Yuhi, who was probably looking for the grab. It goes for the, oh, the side switch, that pesky side switch. You hate to see it. And he's gonna get the well break. Not using the uh, overdrive in order to get a hard knockdown. Oh, and here we go with the air to and this should be the kill. Yuhi on set point. What is going to happen? Is bro going to make a combat or is he faded to go in the loser's bracket? Very nice juggle from you. He recognizes that you can do so from the counter hit of the sl on the sledge. Oh, very nice. Uh, bro going for one too many times for the grab. Yuhi starting to reading it. Forces the burst on bro. Here with the pesty minion and Yuhi gets the knockdown. Goes for the side switch and this is going to be enough. Yeah, this is definitely going to be enough. Good stuff from Yuhi seals the deal. A three, two, one. A good. Oh, damn. This came in a little bit late. Anyways, here we go with the next battle. It's going to be Hasamu versus Noria. Let's see how this pans out. Thank you very much for the follow Miko pod and welcome to the Bro Drops. Okay, next battle. Uh, first participation of uh, Noria. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, here we go with Hasamu already starting using the uh, dive kick in order to. Oh, here we go again with the Sultry Performance K version from Hasamu trying to. I get as close as possible. Norio picking up on that uh, use of the dive kick. And here we go with uh, the... Oh, Lord, the Blanca ball. I'm going to call it from Norio. Oh, very nice bag that from Norio manages to stuff the... Uh, what's called the save jump of Hasamu. And uh, grab him and side switch. Oh, no, a little bit too far. No, why did you not punish this, norio sir? Anyways, we can see a little bit of uh, character unfamiliarity uh, from Nori right there. He could have punished this, but it's still okay. Here we go. Start of the second round. Let's see how this pans out. And Norio, okay. Oh, almost found the uh, opening. And here we go with the empty low from Hasamu. Hasamu going ham with D re-jumps using the jumping D. And here we go with... Ah, you're going low this time around. And this should cause a wall splat. And Hasamu goes straight for the overdrive for the kill. Good stuff from Hasamu. Did I uh, update the uh, predictions, by the way? I did. I did, I did. And Hasamu is up 1-0. to zero. Let's see how this pans out. Is Norio going to be able to bring it back? Good lord, Norio forced to pop the burst. Oh, no. Couldn't quite... Couldn't... Ah, couldn't land on Hasamu. Ooh. Yeah, here we go. The corner pressure is real with Hasamu. Man. No, and the DP right there from Norio. This is unfortunate. Yeah, this is maximum combo. Ooh, or not, but it's still okay. This is good enough, uh, Hasamu. Oh, could have gotten the kill, but it's still okay. He has a lot of... Oh, Lord. He has a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Uh, how do you call it? A lot of uh, resources in order to seal the deal. Good stuff from Hasamu. And here we go with the... Oh, the two HS counter. This did a lot of damage. Here we go with... Oh, optimization station. Nice. Nice damage right there from Norio. Finally gets something going. And Hasamu with the HCL right there. Catches the back. That's from Norio. Goes for the stroke goes under the oh lord oh that was pretty interesting okay here we go with the corner combos and hasamu gets the wall break ah here we go the 2 hs straight and hasamu goes for the salt performance forces in order to pop the burst so here we go with the skate closes the distance uh the both players want to get as close as possible it's not too close like <laughs> that being said here we go hasamu up two to zero what is Norio gonna do? One more chance for him to stay in the winner's bracket. If not, he is going to be sent to the losers, which would be totally, totally, totally not good for him. There you go. Hasamu forced to pop the burst. And, oh lord, no, you hate to see it. Oh, very, I uh, almost got the juggle. And here we go, the corner. Ah, the corner pressure. Ah, and here we go, Hasamu doing the sultry performance. Woo, stroke the on so, but it's still okay. Manages to uh, Roman cancel out of it and grab Norio out of the air. And here we go, the corner pressure. Almost got the juggle, but too far. Norio, oh lord, they're just... Oh lord, here we go, the air to air counter hit. This little... Uh, couldn't quite get a conversion out of it. Uh, awesome. Won't be able to see it like this. Oh wow. oh, wow, that was interesting. And Hasamu with the... Instant aerial <laughs> the 
Fortissimo, that was fun. Getting ready to go to corner pressure. Hasabo going completely ham, man. Gets the grab. Goes for the safe jump. Again, man, with it. That, that's pretty interesting. That's an interesting setup. And nice control. Ah, here you go, Norio. Oh, final burst. But yeah, this is looking pretty bleak. Nice back dash right there. Oh, look. Okay, here we go. The corner pressure goes for the low. Ah, and here we go. The sultry performance for the kill. And Hasamu takes it a clean three. Watch him play him several times. So, uh, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And Yukinato, who is both a Kai main and a uh, Potemkin main, extremely strong with both, very proficient with both. Uh, like, he eliminated me from tournaments lots of times in the past, so definitely has the potential to uh, to uh, to uh, to take on Mugi, in my opinion. That being said, here we go with the corner pressure by Mugi, man. Relentless nod, letting up a single time. Here we go with the pressure from Yukinato gets the forest for the counter hit. Ah, oh Lord, here we go. The take pressure, man. And Mugi gets the far HS. Uh, it was probably the far actually. And here we go with the. Oh, it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, this super doesn't do any damage, man. It's crazy. Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. The wake up overdrive. Okay, you can have to still have one bar to make it safe. And he gets hit by the Nuggets Burger from Mugi. Good stuff. First round goes to Mugi. Let's see how this pans out. Go the forest. Oh lord, and the forest. <laughs> Both playing neutral. Very, very good. Okay, here we go. The jump in by Yukineto gets the pressure, and you can see Mugi. Oh lord, what that clash, man. That was crazy. Oh, here we go. The jump in by Yukineto. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get any conversion off of it. Here we go. The tick pressure, tick throw from Mugi. Woo! And the wake up DP from Yukineto. No, couldn't quite get the juggle. This is unfortunate. Forces Yukineto to pop the burst. Here we go. The food were dark. I am dark. Oh! No! Counter hit right there from Moogie. Uh, the tick pressure, you hate to see it. <laughs> Very nice bag dash. That's a, that's a cheeky bag dash from... Oh, Lord! You want to DP? I can DP better than you. Ain't good. You can have to grab the DP from Moogie. Goes for a very deep grab, by the way. That goes for the quick over... The, the quick dust for the... Kale right there. Quick dust into the Roman cancel. Into the wall spot. Into the Kale. DP for DP, exactly. Both players playing their characters perfectly well. Oh, Lord, and that back dash, a very nice grabber right there from Moogie. Gonna get the wall. Look at that back dash. Baits the DP. He's gonna get the wall break. See how this spins out. Oh, Lord, and the 4K, man. Ooh. Okay, nice bar right there from Yukinato. Might get out of the corner. Tries to go for a grab, but Moogie read it. Back dash and punished accordingly. Good stuff from Moogie. Puts one on the board. See how this spins out. Oh lord, okay, ah, 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 ah. I think Yukinato is gonna pop the pot. <laughs> He's gonna pop the pot, man. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it, man. Yep, here we go. I love Yukinato's pot, by the way. Extremely strong pot player. But I fail to see how it... Is pot, like, a favorable matchup? Like, I mean, is is the matchup of uh, Leo and pot, like, in favor of pot? I, I have problems on seeing this that way. But anyways, if anybody who's more educated than me, uh, well, and that is probably like 99% of the chat can can uh, like uh, confirm. Type uh, prop better versus Leo. Okay, okay, that's what I would think as well. But here we go with the Garuda Impact. Did you see Fab 7? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, that combo was sick, man. I retweeted that shit. That was so insane. That was so cool, man. The, the, like, the useless combos are the best combos, in my opinion. Hypod is such an interesting character spread. It is, right? It does cover a lot of different matchups, in my opinion. But I think, like, the best character spread you might actually get is, like... Um... Wait, wait, wait. Happy Chaos, obviously. And, uh... And Pot, I guess? Happy Chaos Pot, like, you, you got pretty much everything, I guess. But I guess, like, Happy Chaos covers absolutely everything, actually. <laughs> By himself, you know? <laughs> But yeah, Happy Chaos or Ram, I guess. Yeah, but it's basically the same thing. Well, it's not the same thing because, uh, yeah, it's not the same thing. But yeah, maybe ha Happy Chaos Ram is a pretty nice uh, character spread as well. But yeah, definitely like Kai and Pod is like it's it's very unusual. Not gonna lie. And here we go with you cannot get it a little bit victimized in the corner. Wow! Against the Pod Buster, man. Oh Lord! And that jump right there from Mugi. Oh, it goes for the Podbuster a second time! 
the cojones on that movie, man. I got for the fun master a third time. Good luck. <laughs> Yuki Nato. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff, Yuki. Holy lord. And here we go. The take pressure right there from Mugia gets the counter in. And this is bad. This is bad. No, Mega Fist. Back, Mega Fist. You're into shit. Oh, lord. Yo, nice. How are you doing, Sabio? Pots only want one thing and it's disgust exactly. It's to, it's to hold you in in their arms. That's what they want. They just want to hold you. And we're going to jump in, man. Mugi going and gets the, oh, the pot. The, the, the pot. He gets the, the guard point, man. Good lord. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Oh, Lord. No. No, yeah, you can see Yuki not to try. now gets it by the 2K. This is unfortunate. Good stuff, though. That, that's pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. Okay, is Yuki Nato gonna stick to his guns or is he gonna go back to Kai? We shall see. Pot bash there. Bien, toi, j'ai croisé quelqu'un de ton dojo sur ce... Ah, nice. C'est cool, ça. Ouais, mon dojo, il est, il est génial. C'est le Brigitte Bar de jeu. <laughs> J'espère qu'on pourra avoir cette, euh, cette manipulation dans Street Fighter 6 aussi. Faut que je prenne direct Brigitte Bar de jeu avant que ça soit pris. Anyways, here we go with the tick pressure and Yuki Nato getting the heat knuckle. What is gonna be the Yuki? Don't mess Yuki. Oh, make a fist. Oh, Lord, and just let it rip. Oh, that back dash, though. And Yuki Nato. Oh, no, okay. Oh, Lord, you wanted to back dash? Nope. And here we go with the Garuda impact. What's crazy is that Leo can parry projectiles too. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy, man. Oh, Lord, and the hammer fall for the kill. Good stuff by Kinato. Up one round, still down two matches, though. It's gonna be a pretty big uphill battle. Il a beaucoup fusion, ouais, j'avoue, j'avoue. Oh, Lord, and that 6 speed though from Mugi counter hit and tires the butt slam from Yukinato. Here we go with the corner pressure, you hate to see it. Ah, and Mugi man going half. Oh, goes for the guard point. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. Goes for Darcy, probably trying to bait the burst, not quite sure. Ah, ah, here we go with the setup right there to get the wall flat. Get the wall flat. What is gonna be the mix? Well, it's no mix actually, because it's not a hard knockdown. And here we go with Moogie. Gonna get. Yeah, the kill. This is the kill. Good stuff from Moogie. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Man, the perfect with Moogie, man. Super armor, guard point. Yeah, yeah. He needs it. Oh, slider hit break there. And Moogie gets the jump and goes for the. Lows right there, and Yuki Nato not ready for it. Still holding up, man. Oh! And he goes for the pot buster out of the blue, man. It still works. He gets the side switch. Oh, man. And Mugi just recognizing when Yuki Nato goes for the slider head, man. Here we go to. Oh, good lord. Slider head gets the knockdown. Oh, no! <laughs> he had the correct read, but still he was in range of the DP of. Oh, Mugi! Okay, this should do. Not too far to connect the 6HS, you hate to see it. Here we go, the butt slam. Oh, but you're in limbo, go. You're in limbo, you're in my world now, biatch. Yeah, and this is gonna be the kill. This is unfortunate. Oh, no, actually. Okay, one more. One more chance from Mugi, from Miyuki Nato, and he gets Zvite right out of the blue. Gonna be Yuka Pedal versus Giambu. Let's see how this goes. Do I recognize you by any chance from a Blues stream? Juice? Yes, bro. Okay, anyways, here we go. On to the next bat. Latif post Tempest Lost Tweet is definitely affiliated, isn't that? It is. F more. Yeah, fuck more. <laughs> and this dude has actually pretty decent. Not decent. He has like crazy good reactions, too, man. So I don't understand why he said this. There are some things that like the human being in general cannot react to. And I think like what, uh, what, uh, what, what Tempest did to, um, to Latif is like literally unreactable, you have to guess. It's not about like reactions or anything, I feel. But anyways, here we go with Gyambu, man, gives the 6p counter hit. <clears throat> I wanted to invite the DP right there, probably. Leo is just unreactable, man. Yeah, yeah. Leo, you cannot like, I don't think you can react consistently to Leo's pressure. You can more or less react sometimes, but it's just, you have so much shit to look out for when you're playing against Leo that it's literally unreactable to be, to be real. I think it's really just unreactable. Too many st outcomes to to which you have to look out for. Thought the name looked familiar. Anyways, here we go with the stun dipper right there from you. Couple look at the knockdown. That yeah, that's it. Yeah, the, like the Leo matchup is basically that. You cannot react to all of the mixes. Well, in uh, I mean, it's most everything he does is reactable, but he has so many ways to mix your ass that in the end you're looking for something, and if it's not the thing you're at that moment looking for. And he does something else, you're gonna get open, basically. It's hard to like uh, multitask 
when you're playing against Leo, because there's so much shit you have to look out for. So much shit. Side switch, you have to look out for uh, fucking overhead, you have to look out for lows, you have to look out for fucking... For a fucking command grab that he didn't need, like, I, and I know it's like the the most reactable command grab in the game, but when when you add this to all of the other options that you have, it, it's like, oh my lord, did he really need this shit? You know? Yeah, yeah, it's basically it. But then he, again, Eno her command grab is requires like um requires bar. It's not like a uh, it's not a uh, what's it called. But I'm not saying that Eno is bad. I think Eno is actually pretty decent, like to be honest. But he, Eno doesn't have a DP. That's why I think the more feral the Leo player, the more pro Yeah, exactly. The more YOLO the Leo player, the the better like this person is gonna fare fighting this in this game. And here we go with the 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 double grab right there from Yukapito manages to take the first match. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Oh yeah, definitely. Like the more feral the Leo player, the more YOLO the Leo player, the better the better player he's going to be. Like I really think the the more YOLO you are with Leo, the better it is for you. That they're, they're, like, it's really something I really, I, I truly believe in. If you're too like respectful, if you're too like clean, and you play Leo, you're probably not gonna play him correctly. This is really, <laughs> this is, I, I'm sure of it. I'm certain of it. You're going to stun the bird, gets the knockdown, and oh, and you're with the corner pressure, gets the grab, and Yamu pops the wire C, wants to get out of this corner. Goes for the Fukio. Oh, and this should kill. No, drops it. Goes for the quick. Ah, oh, you're gonna pop, but oh my lord! If Shukapito had just settled down, not uh, overextended, and just like just blocked, I think Yumbu would have popped the the the, the blood right there. Anyways, very really good. The bite. His game is still offensive driven, but then again, probably all of GR. Yeah, but this game is more offensive. It's a you know, enemy fighters and normal regular like. Fighters like I guess Tekken or or Street Fighter are uh, two different genres. I feel like anime fighters, man. It's like oh, offense, 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 offense. And there are like sequences in uh, anime fighters where you can do nothing else but die. Like literally, man. There's there's just some sometimes there's nothing you can do else but die because your opponent had made perhaps like too much like tension or too much like resources and shit, and 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 you're just gonna die. Because you're in the corner and and that's it basically. So I feel like yeah, it's it's really the, like this type of situation, this type of of rules in a fighting game is extremely strong for Leo players because the more hand they go, the more offensive they are and the freaking the the, the best outcome they might benefit from. I feel. Ça va bien, Cybercat, très très bien. Et je suis content que tu sois là aussi. The clone, and here we go with the close S. And Yamu wanted the burst, but you capital man. You got Pillow holding onto his bird. Go for the tick pressure in the corner. Very nice experience there from Yambu. Couldn't get the juggle. Woo! Oh no! Oh, the BRC kind of messed up his timing right there. The timing of Yambu. And just like this, you got is gonna go up to the zero, man. What is Yambu gonna do? What is Yambu gonna do? Oh, Kidoki Bread and Cookie. What is gonna be this? This third round is Yambu gonna make a comeback. We shall see. Here we go, the close says, very nicely done by Capito, goes for the Beyblade, no one show him though. Oh, very nice grab right there from you, Capito, uh, from uh, Gyambu, is the take pressure. Oh, here we go, the Beyblade. Ah, and this time they're pretty punish the recovery of the, the far HS man. Good stuff from you, Capito, ooh, ah, goes for the quick dust. Ah, try to go, yeah, he definitely wanted that burst. He wanted that burst so much! Good stuff from you, Capital gets the kill with the Wells plan. Just like this, we are on the third match, and Yambu on the verge of being sent to the loser's bracket. And the Stun Nipper is really making a number on Yambu, basically, huh? This is unfortunate for him. Oh, you're going to jump in, you Capito, smelling the, the blood, <laughs> literally. Definitely smelling the blood, Yambu going for the normal Reka. Oh, very nice move punish right there from Yambu. Gonna get the Washura Yuki! For the wall break. Get out of here. Good stuff from Yukapilo. From Yambu. Nice, decent damage. Oh, and here we go to Stun Dipper and the 2k for the kill by Yambu. Good stuff. Finally gets one round. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. Oh, very nice 2k right there. That was crazy. Oh, here we go. De oh, Lord. And that 2hs was great. Oh, no. And the Q pop. Q pop. Q pop. You hate to see it. Here we go. The 4 damn the damage, man. <laughs> did so much damage. 
Oh, Lord, you hate to see it. You can Oh, no. We stood down on the command ground attempt. And just like this, you is going to get the kill. That was a sick read from you Capello up 3 to 0 unfortunately the outside of you of of Melia it, I can definitely see why it's annoying for Melia players to have to deal with Leo. Okay, let's go. Let's do this stuff. And thank you very much for the sub Cybercat of Plays. Merci beaucoup bro. Again here we go with the pressure. Very nice uh, by Mugi finds uh drops first blood gets the far S counter hit. Manages to keep you in the corner. No DP. Obviously. Oh lord, and that rose man. Forces Mugi to pop the burst. Here we go the pr corner pressure. You on point with the tech right there. Oh lord, and that 6 speed. That was crazy. Ah, uh, Mugi couldn't quite get it. Oh, he's gonna get the kill. Is he? Here we go with the juggle and the kill. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff from Mugi. Let's see how this pans out. Whew, good lord. Oh, here we go. The... Uh, uh, both players like yeah trying to get the advantage when he gets the knockdown ah finds the opening with the close ah the closest you hate to see it oh lord okay here we go the juggle you he probably gonna get a wall break nope no wall break gets the wall break with the tandem top oh very nice with punish right there from Yuhi Again with the juggle, he's not gonna get the kill by any means, but definitely getting closer to it. Oh lord! Oh, and that juggle using the rose by you. He puts one round on the board. Let's see how Mugi is going to answer this. Okay, here we go to the tandem top. Pressure's real, tries to get the knockdown with the 2k2d, but Mugi not giving it to him. Oh lord, and that guard point, you hate to see it. Good lord! Oh, oh, Gary go with the jump in, and Mugi finally popping the DP. Gets grabbed this time around. We go to tandem top, mixes, schmixes. Oh, and that jump in using the rose was crazy good. Ah, he goes for the immediate jump in, and here we go the wall break. Wow, that was sick that confirmed man that confirmed from you he manages to take the first match that was crazy that this this million is crazy this million, this is legit like one of the best million in, in the world like i'm not even capping but i still think that tuchia is a little bit stronger just a tatty bit tuchia another very strong japanese million but yeah the, yuhi is either first or second like it, there's no <laughs> First or second Milia in, in Japan. For the world, I, I can't really say because I don't really know what's outside. But uh, yeah, definitely very strong Milia. Right? I know that Lord Knight used to play her before he switched to Biken, but besides this, I really don't know. Here we go to take pressure. Ah, oh, Moogie gonna get the wall break. Kaboom. Good stuff by Moogie. Okay, and back to neutral again with the far S counter hit, man. By he has been working very much in his favor. Goes for the side switch and manages to force Mugi to pop the burst. And here we go. The whiff punishes again. I told you guys about it, man. Yuhi and the whiff punishes of Yuhi is out of this world, man. It's crazy. Anyways, here we go with Mugi. Gets the wall break hard knockdown. And the tick pressure right there gets this bite. And gets the kill with a 2D. 2B. 2K. 2P. Good lord. I'm not drunk. Anyways, we're good. Oh, no, the overhead, but no. Mugi didn't bite. Ah, and he goes for the guard point counter hit. Forces Yuhi to pop the burst. Ah. And Yuhi's gonna get the wall break. Definitely. Okay, boom. Double slip. Here we go, the jump in. Good stuff by Yuhi. Goes for the side switch. Mugi's gonna have to do something. Ah. Wow, and Mugi man just holding on to his DP man, to, to his uh, burst and dies with it unfortunately. Ah, he wanted to keep it for the second round, yeah. Ah, it's understandable. Ah, and again with the roses, man. Roses are red, violets are blue. Melia's mixes are gonna F you. And here we go with the empty low by Yuki, man. He gets the wall break. 
Oh! Good lord. Okay, here we go. Ah, you're trying to punish. Toba once was home right here. Very nice to KTD right there to get rid of the guard point. Goes for the empty low again. And here we go with Moogie popping up. No! That was a drop. That was definitely a drop by Moogie. This is unfortunate. Goes for the wake up DP. But unfortunately, you he was waiting for it. Grabs him on his wake up DP and Yuhi is up 2-0. to zero. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord. Okay, on to the third match of this... Oh! Of this set. Here we go. Ah, no follow up right there, but Moogie gets the air to air. Couldn't quite get the juggle. Ah, and here we go again with Moogie forced to pop the burst. Ah, tries to go for the grab, but Yuhi was looking out for it. Jumps out and lands straight on Moogie for a devastating combo right there in the corner carry. Well, not devastating, but a pretty nice combo for corner carry. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Yuhi trying to fish for something, man. Ah, gets knocked down, unfortunately. Oh, punishes the bite. Here we go with Moogie waking up DP. Gonna get a wall break. Okay, goes for the wall break. Wants the positive bonus. Back to neutral. Ah, no one, no entire right there. And Yuki with the quick, the bad mood, the bad mood. <laughs> Good for the bad mood for the instant overhead and RC for the wall break. Ah, and here with the grab and Mugi is up one round to nil, but down two matches. Okay, very nice. Oh. Okay, here we go with Yuki. Gets the entire with the close S, you hate to see it. And look at the damage for Milia, that's actually pretty nice. It is pretty nice for a BNB with no uh, no resources used. This is extremely good. Anyways, here we go. Uh, Moogie managed to get the burst, but couldn't quite get any big punish out of it. This is unfortunate for him. Uh, here we go to far S again with the bad moon. Is gonna get the wall break. Yeah, he's gonna get the wall break. Oh, or not actually. Ah, you he went for the schmixes and the resets. Good stuff. Wanted the wall positioning. Okay, and on to the next and that with punish again. Again, man. It wouldn't surprise me if Yuhi played like Street Fighter or something. That being said, Rigo on to set point, man. And Yuhi making quick work of Moogie, not gonna lie. Against the freaking juggle using the rose roses are red and that was a bad the bad aerial grab attempt from Mugi. he's gonna pay the price for it get sledged out of the screen oh, okay here we go yeah you can see you he's fishing for something man he's fishing for the fishing for the wish punish and here we go with the wish punish again man yushi man crazy man i yeah Probably was looking for the DP. Ah, and he gets the jump, and this should. Ah, yeah, this should do. Mugi couldn't get enough, couldn't get his burst back in versus Takarin. How is this going to pan out? We shall see in a moment. Melia's mix is uh, so hard, it is, it is. Not gonna lie. Okay, and on to the next battle. <clears throat> Okay, and here we go with uh, the Dokkan from Takarin gets the juggle and goes for the empty load. That was sneaky, man. Good Saint Lensengeki. Ah, uh, gets the 2HS, but a very nice use of the RC right there from Takarin to make his uh, 2HS attempt safe and gets it with a perfect. Damn, that's a big statement, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, here we go the Fudro Dark and Takarin not afraid to just uh, grab. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the 2 HS. Doesn't get the juggle, unfortunately. Pickup though just goes for the grab. We get the tick pressure again with the grab. Pushing ever so slightly. Takarin in the corner. Ah, Fudra Dark. Instant. Uh, no, not instant, but quick dust into Roman Cancel for. Ah, doesn't quite get the killing. Oh, but it's still okay. He's gonna get it here. Good stuff from Yuka Pero. Takes one, uh, one round. Yuhi no fan des, watashimo. <laughs> watashimo Yuhi san no fan des. <laughs> and here we go with the take pressure. Ah, Takarin takes, gets the knockdown. 
Oh, very nice to HS counter this, he's gonna do a lot of damage. Ooh, that was an interesting choice. Ah, but that being said, Takarin... Ooh, ah, yeah, you can see he got one did that burst, but yeah, Takarin won't give it to him for free. And here we go with the snail encounter hit, and this should do... Yes, he goes for the... Uh, I have no idea how you call this move. But that being said, here we go, Takarin up, 1-0. What is Yukapero gonna do? Yukapero, Yukapero, what are you gonna do? Here we go, the 2k, very nice with punish right there. Oh, Lord, this was a very nice rainwater. Ah, again, with the 2hs counter in, and Yukapero just running straight in the entires of, uh, of Takarin right there. Here we go with the one, one world. Za world. And Takarin gets the wall break again. The checks are real with the 2k 2d man from Takarin. And wow, that was interesting. Gets it with a perfect good stuff from Takarin. That was interesting. Uh uh. Clash in front of Yukapedo. Gets the knockdown. With the food for dark. Good check by Takarin. Pushes Yukapedo out. Oh, Lord, and that sacred edge in order to punish the Lin Sengeki from Takarin. That was uh, crazy good. With the air to air in favor of Yukapero, gonna get the juggle. He's probably gonna get the kill. Yes, he will. Good stuff from uh, Yukapero. Definitely not out of this yet. Wow, that cojones from this man. Gets grabbed on the wake up, unfortunately. This is unfortunate. And here we go with the OS to catch the back dashes attempt from Yukapero. Good stuff from the cutting gets the Axel Bomber. I guess it with the two S counter hit. Dice, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Lloyd just run straight and grab. Just do it. Ah, he's gonna go for yeah, the quick dust. I knew it. And gets the kill. Good stuff, bye. Takani up 2 2 0. What is Yukapero gonna do? I don't know if Yukapero has a sub. I don't believe he does. But might be. Yeah, this is his last chance to bring it back. Gets to HS again. Len Sengeki ah, goes for the fake empty low into the cross. Oh no, that was an input error. Good lord. Actual bomber. No, oh, no, that was a bad actual bomber. And gets dust, man. Good lord. And here we go with the snail. And gets a regular air to air for the kill. Good stuff by Takarin on set point. Very nice with punish from Yukapero gonna push Takarin in the corner. Unfortunately, Takarin finds his way out with a little bit of a bari. Then Sengeki gets the juggle with the rainwater. Again with the rainwater. Ooh. Again, rainwater. No entire quick dust for the opening. Where's well, gonna be the juggle? Wow. Here we go with the wall break. Actual bomba! <laughs> You'd like to see it. Ah, he wanted that burst so bad, but no. Ah, 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 ah. What is gonna happen? You kept it on dire straight right there. Oh, oh no. Ah, ah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, that's over. Wow. <laughs> Say so just in case. Good stuff from Takani. Battle, battle, battle. Hagiara versus Age. The battle of. I don't even know how to characterize, how to, how to, how to name this type of encounters. And it was both rocking gray and black. Here we go with the first pop from Zage. And Zage already surrounded by these minions that he absolutely adores. We got the Fukio, very nice check right there from Hagiara gets the 2k to the end of knockdown incidentally. Ah, the pressure is real from Hagiara. Ooh, and here we go with the minions. Ah, very nice forest right there from Zeej. Gets rid of the minion. Oh, gets grabbed, unfortunately, by Hagiala, who goes for the cross-up and the quick dust. And this should do. Here we go with the Illusion Driver for the kill. Good stuff from Hagiala. Puts one round on the board. And on to the second round. Go with the entire by Hagiara. You get the counter hit and the corner pressure with a two minion. One minion, that is. Ooh, look. Oh, two minion. One minion. One minion. And you're, yeah, you have to hold it. Ah, wait. Yeah, there you go. Dice division right here. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Ah, okay. Finally, Zeej. <laughs> Zeej was able to live it through. 
but still gets grabbed and the OTG damage is real. What is each gonna do? Okay, and Zeej unfortunately gets hit by the minion and juggled by Jacko. And just like this, Hagiala takes it with one. T puts one on the board. One match against zero. What is Zeej gonna do? We shall see. La pression est vraie. Elle est vraie. Here we go, the pressure. Very nice grab from Hagiala. Okay, some more pressure right there using the minion. Gets the counter hit. They didn't commit to try to juggle, probably because he wanted the burst of, uh, of Zeej, but Zeej's not giving it for free. Very good with 2k. Ah, good lord. And here we go with the nice stick right there from Hagiara. I guess the 2k to the again. Oh, lord! On a side note, Bridge got buffed. Yeah, Bridget is very strong right now. I hate fighting Bridget right now, man. And that uh, 2k to the using the BRC to confirm for the kill. And Hagiara up one round. Ah, ah Lord. Here we go, Dominion on the. Wow! And using the wreck abilities from Zeech to not only kill Dominion, but. Uh, to uh, shorten the distance between him and Hagiara. What did they do? Speed up everything? Uh, they made her juggle potential way more potent. So it's far more easier to juggle s s uh, stuff left and right. And uh, they did a bunch of other things like damage freak, I guess. He does more damage now. And uh, what else? Did ah, we are. Yeah. Or maybe it was 2 to 0, actually. Not quite sure. Well, the player is no better than me. Anyways, we will go with the corner pressure using the minion. That ow oh, and successful shimmy right there from Hagiara. Very nicely done. Gets still the 2k 2d. Followed by the OTG. A lot of damage, by the way. Goes for the quick combo. The quick dust, I'm sorry. And he's gonna get the illusion driver. Driver. Good stuff from Hagiara. Gonna get a hard knockdown. Oh lord, here he goes, he's not out of this yet. Go to close S. Ah, goes for the 2k. Pressure, no entire. Yes, the close S is even better, actually. <laughs> ah, ah, and here we go using the pesky minions, and here we go with the follow up of the minions for the kill. I gotta up one round. Actually, I think Hagiara is up 2-0, to, 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 to the zero, I think. Anyways, here we go with the tick pressure from Hagiara, man, and ah, uh, the corner pressure is real. You have to hold it, though. Ah, uh, this is death. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is completely death. If, yeah, uh, oh, or not, actually. Okay, here we go. Is he out of the corner, finally? Just walking straight. Has to deal with the pressure of the minion. Very nice experience there from Zeed. Finally use this Fukio. And here we go. Oh, very nice for us. Unfortunately got the burst. No! Not like this, Siege. Not like this. The burst was successfully baited. Good stuff from Agata. I think that's it. A bro versus a Mato, yeah. Mankind knew that they cannot change. Okay, we're good to go. Mm. Dual one. Sorry for the wait. Let's oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the start of the round, and the Mato gets the. Ooh, Lord. I probably didn't. Oh, Lord, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, and a bro putting some minions on the. Floor trying to get the knockdown from Amato forces Amato to pop the burst. Amato with the very close 6p range right there gets the Meteo. However, Bra did, man uh, did manage to get the trumpet in order to summon the cavalry and gets the kill with the Elysian driver. Good stuff from Bro gets draws first blood. And here we go the far S counter hit from Amato. Oh, manages to get the spear with the golf club for the follow-up. Good stuff. 
Here we go, the banana hammer wig. Bento. Oh, there was a trumpet right here. Is Amato gonna be able to get it? Here we go, the hammer. And the wig. Amato get it, knocking down his opponent with the 2S. Well, uh, the 2D, uh, actually. The 2S. Uh, and gets the kill with the grab. Good stuff from Amato. There we go with the wig. Ah, oh, very nice standing kick right there, man. Again with the 2K, man. The, the standing kick. Here we go. Only wigs, man. There's been so many wigs. Wig, wig, wig. Here we go with the corner pressure. Bra guy gets the, the, the wall break. Gets checked, though, by Amato. Oh, Lord. And that buffed wig right there from... Oh. Here we go with Bra... Oh, very nice use of the checkpoint. The checkpoint. <laughs> the guard point right there. Ah, forces the... Yeah. Oh, Lord, and that juggle. Damn, bro. Triggered everything under the sun, man. <gasps> what the hell? What the hell happened? And Amato, unfortunately, gets, gets scooped by the 2D. That was so unfortunate. That was so unfortunate. Damn, I really thought that was over for bro, man. I really thought it was. Good stuff from... Bravo manages to bring it back. Here we go with the pressure. Oh, gets the football, the football uh, kickoff. Again with the 2K2D, gets the knockdown. Tick throw. Oh, then that cross up though still gets the side switch. Good stuff. Here we go with the illusion driver. Driver! Okie dokie, bridge and cookie. Ah, yeah, here we go, the close. S catches the back dash attempt into another Elysian driver. Driver! Good stuff from Bra, man. Taking the lead right now. Oh, he all, 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 already has the lead, but he has one more round, man. And the corner pressure is real, and Amato dealing a little. Yeah. Ah, uh, you can see him suffering right now. Ah, uh, the pressure is real. He goes for the grab. And again with the grab. Ah, uh, and the fake cross up. And you're going to bra against the wall break. The, not fake cross up, fake, uh, fake MT low and gets it with the perfect that statement from bra, man. What is Amato gonna do? What is Amato gonna do? That is pretty tough, not gonna lie. Oh, Lord. Ah, unfortunately, gets scooped by the mix, mix, mix. Okay, we're going with punish by Bra. Yeah, has to be wary of that bomb. Ah, nice use of the bomb right there. Waits until the very last minute to just send it towards. To oh, oh, that was unfortunate. I ah, triggered little fouls, but still gets. Oh no, that was an unfortunately timed. Meaty right there from Amato. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, very nice 6P right there from Amato. He wanted... Oh, okay. I thought he wanted the burst, but no, he wanted the side switch. Good stuff from Amato finally looking alive. He's gonna take the second one as well. And Little Faust. Little Faust wants to protect Papa, unfortunately. Papa messed up his, <laughs> his command grab timing. With the spear, very nice use of the standing K to get rid of the minion. Ah, ah, ah. You can see a trumpet. You can see a trumpet. Oh, Lord. Oh, it lands on the trumpet. Still gets hit by the trumpet. Ah, bro. Likes to take it to the air, man. Not gonna lie. Triggers little Faust. Again with the fireball. And here we go. Yeah, the pressure is real. Very nice juggle right there from Amato goes for the... I'm gonna break your leg. Good boom! Good lord. Oh lord and the illusion drive. I think it's gonna whiff though. Yeah, very nice use of the extension right there. The extension of the RC bot. Oh no! And Amato caught that Roman cancel. That that uh that burst. Good stuff by Amato. Very nice awareness from Amato right there. Good stuff, good stuff. That's how this spins out. And on to the uh, next round. Already Yamato out of burst. Goes for the overhead. Very nice uh, six period. Oh! Oh no, he got scooped by the overdrive of, of Faust. Good stuff from Yamato. 
Here we go with the empty low. Nice straight in favor of Mato. Oh, here we go, Dominion. And Amato gets the counter hit. Oh, and the spear as well. This is going to do a lot of damage. Going to land right on Little Faust. You hate to see it. Nice awareness of Bro to immediately grab Amato once he attempted to uh, command grab him. Making it so that uh, Little Faust went straight through him. Nice elision driver. Just not enough to kill. And here we go to 2k to catch the back dash. Good stuff from Bro on set point. Is he going to eliminate Amato? We shall see. Oh, you're gonna knock down. Amato. Oh, Lord. Almost got the juggle. Thank you, little Faust. Oh. Oh, okay, just like this. Bro, trying to. Oh, yeah. Trying to get as close as possible to Amato, but yeah, Amato not letting him, man. Here go the meteors. Almost got the overdrive. The, the, the overhead, though. Okay, Amato, yeah, finding the sweet spot not to get, like, in jeopardy when Bro tries to get close to him. And Amato not letting up, man. As soon as there are minions on the screen, Amato immediately gets rid of them, man. Ah, and here we go, the juggle, the corner juggle right there from Amato. Not going out without a fight. Nice 6 HS right there from Bra. Ah, uh, not say the nice 5 HS, I'm sorry. 6 HS is the other one. And here we go, the fake cross up. Good stuff from Bro. Going immediately for the Elysium Driver. Driver! Not gonna get the wall break. A little bit too far for it. Forced Amato to pop the burst though, which is very good for him. Oh, and little. The minion being so pesky, man. Oh, it's entire with the standing S. Okay, here we go, the pressure is real. Ah, oh, Lord, the defense of Maato is really good, man. Oh, Lord, ah, is he gonna get the kill? He is not. Good use of the Scarecrow instant teleport right there from Maato to catch Bro off guard and secure the win two rounds two matches a piece we have a match ladies and gentlemen who is going to take it we shall see okay this is the final match of this set who is going to take it nice tick uh nice to get to the right there from a bro i managed to blow that scarecrow away bro <laughs> bro ah uh, no entire right there from bro bro after all these years, still love you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh lord, unfortunately, he gets bombed. Uh uh uh. You got mix mix mix. Have to hold it if you block my mix 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 in the air. It is plus. Okay, here we go with the overhead. Oh, no juggle right there. Oh, you went for a mix. Okay. And those sick. Good stuff from Amato. On match point, actually, on set point, he was down 2 to 0 and he's bringing it back, man. Here we go, bro needs to bring it back some somehow. Ah, uh, the tick pressure is real. And here we go, the afro. Ah, uh, just in time to put fire to the afro. And I'm also going straight for the overdrive. Bro is definitely on his last legs right there. What is he gonna do? He does have full burst if, if he can manage to get the, the gold burst, I guess. Oh no! And the wake up overdrive from Amato! You hate to see it. Good stuff from Amato. Takes it 3 2. What's that? Okay, Again, on to the next battle. Yuka Pedro versus Hagiara. Let's see how this pans out. Another Jackal player. We have a lot of Jackal players today. We got the Stun Nipper from Yuka Pedro. Yuka Pedro absolutely loves the uh, Stun Nipper. He absolutely loves it. 
Okay, and here we go with the corner pressure from Yuka Perugues, the the burst man. This did a lot of damage, and again with the vapor thrust for the well break. Capital definitely taking his time. Doesn't want to overcommit. Goes for the wake up stun dipper right away, and he's gonna get the juggle for the kill. Good stuff from Capero. And on to the next round. Capero got the knockdown. Goes for the grab. Uh, goes for the fake cross up. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. But still okay. He does have the corner pressure now. Oh, and he goes for the grab. And this should do with the Elysian Driver. Elysian Driver! Good stuff from Hagiela not going out without a fight. One round apiece. Who is going to take it? Is it going to run back, by the way? I feel like this is a run back. Capito versus... Oh, no, it's not. It's actually not a run back. Uh, what we saw previously was you, 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 I wasn't you, 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 grab from Hagiara and immediately man you, 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 the lightning for the match good stuff by you, 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 Here we go, no one on the 2D. Hagiara forced to pop the burst. Goes with the minion. Oh uh, no! Ah oh, man, and that food drill are catching the jump out attempt of Yukapero, of, of uh, Hagiara. Yukapero going for ride the lighting for a safe jump, or for a uh, hard knockdown. Lord, that was so cheeky, man. Instant jump, jump, uh, instant jumping D. That, that was crazy. I didn't even know you could do this. Energy. Oh lord. Ah, you got better. Doesn't manage to get the jump in. Wakes up DP and is definitely going to pay the price for it. Oh lord, that did a lot of damage. Ah, oh, that air too air though. Here we go to Sun Dipper. Bro, going for the fake cross up. Oh, look, he could have gotten it. Ah, oh, I guess it by the stun the bird. This is unfortunate. Ooh, good stuff by Hagia. Oh, yeah, this should do, yeah. Here we go with the Elysian Driver. Mm, that voice, though. Okay, here we go. Hagia, oh, yeah, not out of it yet. No entire air. Okay. Oh, that jump out from Hagen. I got hit by the 6 speedo. But it was worth it, I guess. At least he got out of the corner, but he's straight into another one. Very nice attack right there from Hagen. Ah, and using the minion to catch Yukapiro off guard. Definitely noticing that Yukapiro has been popping that stun dipper quite a lot at at moment where he was punishable by minions. Nice OTG gets the grab and this should do with the Elysian driver. Driver! Good stuff from Hagiara gets the kill. Puts one on the board, one match apiece. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Here we go to 6P by Hagiara. Oh! And encourages. Encourages you Capello to wake up with the DP. Uh, he's out of the corner. Oh, thank you, Minion. You took the hit for me. That being said, you Capello unfortunately uh, baits the burst right there. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Damn, look at that damage, man. You Capello de well, definitely smelling blood. He wants that that score lead. Damn that. Good lord, the grab the. Freaking blocks are crazy from uh, from Hagiara. Hagiara definitely looking for the burst. Finally has it. Secret edge. No entire on food or dark. And gets hit by the uh, the, the the fireball, not electric ball. 
Very nice awareness from Hagiara. Gets the knockdown. Goes for a deep close S right there. Gets it by the wake up. Uh, the wake up DP by Yukapero. Here we go the Fudra Dark. And immediate dust. Roman cancelled into wall break. Not enough to kill though. Yeah, I get up. Finally going forward. And you Yukapero getting out of the pressure by using the wire seat. Manages to seal this uh, third round. He's up 2 to 1, just needs one more set in order to move on to into the bracket. Again, here we go to Sunday Burr. Okay, now Yala getting that pressure, man. He's trying to. Ooh, Lord, and that jump in by Yukapero. Also using the. Oh, it's called the uh, the OTG, man. Oh, you want to grab me? You're not going to grab me, sir. And here we go with the. Ah, uh, the. Against. Uh, not set points. Agala definitely needs this round if she wants to put one on the board. Ah, Lord, he's got open. This is looking bad. This is a lot of damage. Here we go with Red the Lightning. For the kill. Damn, it did a lot of damage. Holy freaking Lord. That was crazy. We are in set point. Here we go with the counter hit by Yuka Pero. He's gonna get the wall break. That's a, that was a lot of damage. I'm still in awe of how much damage it did. We go with the Fudra Dark and yeah. Hagiara not challenging the Fudra Dark, man. This is definitely not playing in his, fa in his favor. Gets, oh no, and gets grabbed when he was trying to grab. This is unfortunate for Zamato. So Mugi recently has been rocking. A Leo, but he is originally a Nagori Yuki main, so he specializes in in, in uh, monk custom studies, man. Just playing the monkey game, man. Good lord! But then again, I think that Nagori Yuki is a lot less uh, like Bazongas than what he Bazongas. What what, what is Bazonga? <laughs> He's a lot less like uh, I don't want to say brain dead, but a, a lot less like Unga Boonga. Boonga. That's the uh, the word I was looking for. Why did I say Bazonga? <laughs> He's a lot less like uh, Unga Boonga than what he used to be. Because now, if he really doesn't pay attention to his bar, like he can like literally explode and, and completely die. Because he has way less guts and way less health it, when he's blooded than the other way around. So, um, yeah, I, I can understand the reasoning for why Mugi would like to change from Mugi, from, from Nagori Yuki to... Uh, to Leo, I can I can definitely see. Anyways, here we go. On to the next battle. Here we go with the Amato pressure. Oh Lord, and this by to punish the spirit temptor right there from Amato. Big hard read right there from Mugi, thinking that uh, Amato is gonna press a, bed, a button at the end of his block screen of his pressure. Ooh Lord. Oh, again, here we go with the corner pressure. Amato definitely not... Ah, definitely uncomfortable right now. Force it, forced to burst up. Yes, you did hear Bazongas. I wanted to say Unga Bunga. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired today. Please do not hold it against me. <laughs> but I did say Bazongas. <laughs> Here we go with the golf club and the follow-up. Oh, not enough to kill. You hate to see it. And here we go, Amato. Play ping pong with a bomb. It's Monday, it is, it is, man. I didn't sleep a lot yesterday either, so I'm, uh, I'm a little bit tired. But it's okay, it's fine. I love commentating. Anyways, here we go with... Oh, Lord. The dive kick, no one was home, though. And here we go with the grab. Mugi gonna get that corner pressure. Goes for the double 2k for the... Oh, Lord! Iron Bokeh! Here we go, Mugi got the hard knockdown. Goes for the low. 
Ah, Lord, and that pressure, and this is gonna be it for Amato. For this uh, match, actually. Wait, isn't uh, Mugi up 1 to 1 already? Or 2 to 1 already? I'm losing track. Anyways, here we go. Ah, Lord, and that take pressure. This is Vite. Gotta get the uh, knockdown. Amato. Unfortunately, he probably mistimed his meaty and got grabbed by Amato for a side switch in the corner. Here we go with the Scarecrow. I don't know if you can punish it, the Scarecrow that is. Yuhi out of the way. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, Yuhi has, some, has a big chance to, to win it. But then again, Takarin versus Yuhi, I don't really know how this goes. I don't, I've don't. i never seen them play against each other. Maybe they did, actually, but I, I don't remember them playing against each other. So Axel versus Milia, we'll see how this comes out, maybe. That's 6 speed though. Ooh! Or maybe, maybe, Mugi is gonna bring it back all to the Grand Finals. Oh, and that backdash, man! Very nice backdash from Amato. And it is to punish it also. You go to jump in, go straight for the command grab. Hello, Afro. And again with the command grab, the resets are real. Ah, oh, catches the backdash. Good stuff from Amato. Damn, that was great. Amato definitely on a steamroll recently, man. Here we go with the spear. Oh no! That was sick! That was sick! This is going. This is definitely going in the highlight. <laughs> that was sick! Oh, that was an unfortunate burst, but I feel like he didn't really have a choice. Ah, oh, that was so sick. Good stuff from Amato. Oh, that was so unfortunate for Mugi. Ah, Mugi. Oh, good lord. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> Amato. Oh, lord, and that freaking shimmy, man. You love to see it. Okay, here we go with the afro. Oops. No, he's gonna, you're gonna get an afro whether you like it or not. Here you go. Afro for you it is. And here we go with the wake up DP by... Mugi gets hit by the freaking syringe because his afro was here. Okay, what is gonna be the... Oh, uh, the mix, mix, mix. <laughs> Good stuff from Amato gets the kill with the chip. Uh, with the chip kill. 2k to D. Yeah, Amato definitely doesn't want to stay in one spot. I guess the close S counter hit. This did a good amount of damage. Ah, uh, and this guy catches Amato trying to back off a bit. Okay, here we go with the Eisen Storm. Ah, uh, and the triple 2k. You hate to have it. Iron Bokeh! Amato on. Or knock down. Oh lord, that was sick. Good stuff from Amato. I, he has. Oh, he has the meteors. Push for the low. Ah, here we go. Amato getting hit by the Nugget Burger in this fight. And just like this, man. Moogie bringing it back. One round apiece. One match apiece. We have perfect equality. Uh, but Moogie got hit by the fishing rod. Go to counter hit on the 2D. Oh no! And Amato was a little bit too eager to get out of this pressure. And unfortunately, his burst got baited. We go D. Iron Bucket! That was gonna be the mix, and here we go. Moogie takes the lead 2 to 1. What is Amato gonna do? What is he gonna do? What can he do? We shall see. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, Amato probably only has a, a foul, so I don't see him maining anybody else. Anybody, anyways, here we go with the low. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, you can see Mugi, he was camping on the bomb. He wanted to send it to Amato's place, probably. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Very nice grab from Mugi, just outside of the blast radius. Ah, uh, ah, uh, here we go, Meteors. No side switch using the cross, the cross the, the, the what? The Scarecrow, the cross crow. What? What is the Scarecrow? The what? Anyways, here we go with the RNG of Amato. Definitely looking pretty sweet there. 
That goes for the aerial, uh, for the, uh, for the, uh, what's called, the dive kick. Yamato uses the quick dust into the Roman castle for a killing combo. Good stuff. Set point uh, for Mugi still? Uh, no, no, not set point. Mugi still up 2 to 1. And you're for the follow, Ricky Too Cool, and welcome to the bro. Too cool for school? Ah, Lord, and here's the jump in by Yamato using the uh, the wig to extend into his combo. The Lord is gonna be the make. Oh, Lord! Ah, uh, catches the back dash. Oh, no, drops it though. And Amato himself catching the back dash of Mugi and. Ah, Mugi forced to burst. Yeah, if he didn't, he was gonna die. Very nice grab from Amato. And Amato just like this moves on. It moves uh, on Janai. Is up to. Well, is uh, puts one on the board and is currently the same exact score as Mugi. Two matches apiece. Okay, to the neutral. Very nice opening by Amato. Draws first blood. Oh lord, and you're gonna punish by Mugi using this bite. Here we go. Here we go, the wall break. Mugi has the lead. Ah, I guess hit by the mix, mix, mix. Oh, you hit to see it. Oh, you're gonna scarecrow. I wonder if uh, Leo can punish it with this bite or something. Unfortunately for Mugi, man. Oh, Matu gets hit by his own weight. Oh, no, no, wake up. Okay, okay, good stuff. He had meter to make it safe. Lucky you. Ah, he's gonna get hit. Though. Good stuff by Amato. And just like this, Mugi is on match point, on set point, actually. How is Amato gonna bring it back? He has to. He wants to stay. Oh lord, and that 6p in on the Spearman that did a lot of damage. Amato still holding on to his. Oh no, no! Nice burst, Amato. That was unfortunate. Ah, good syringe right there. Couldn't quite get anything started from it though. This is unfortunate. Ah, again with the 6p man, it's been working as his favorite, and just like this, Moogie takes it. <laughs> Case in points yesterday by Takari. Guyashi. Arigatou gozaimashita, Mato san. Mata kikai ga reba zehi. And here we go with the side switch by Takari. Uh, by, uh, you, I'll, I'll be right back, guys. I, I want to go drink some water. Be right back. Okay, okay, we are back, and Yushi is making pretty quick work of Takarin san already up one round and already a massive health uh, advantage in the second round. Get the jump in. Ah, try to read the burst right there. Finally, Takarin forced to pop the burst. Okay, and here we go with the pressure. Yuhi the whiff punish monster man. Crazy and Yuhi up 1 2 0 man. What is Takarin gonna do? Yeah, this smell is crazy man. It is vraiment vraiment bien. Okie dokie and on to the next battle. Very nice for S right there and Yurgu with the whiff punishes. Ah, ah, too far to punish. Still get the sledge. Goes for the empty low and this. Should do a lot of damage. Well, some decent damage at it. Okay, and yeah, Takarin doing a good job of keeping Yuhi out of the, out of, uh, out of his range. Ah, good lord. Hmm. Ah, and Takarin finds the opening with uh, the 
Command grab. Ah, oh, gets jumped in, unfortunately, and you he finds the opening again, man. Probably definitely trying to get out of the pressure. Oh, again with the command uh, with the counter hit. Gets the juggle into the wall break. Using the sledge. Oh, empty low for the opening. Takani not ready. Oh, Lord. Here we go again with the juggles, man. What is the mix? What the hell was that? Good Lord. What the hell was that? Ah, ah, ah Lord. Good stuff from you. He takes it with the perfect, man. Up to the zero, man. What is Takani going to do? What is Takani going to do? Okay, nice opening right there from Takani forces the burst upon Yuhi. Ah, finally blocks the empty low. Again, goes for the empty low. But Takani on point this time around. No entire. Okay, and on back to neutral. Oh, this time around Takani manages to grab Yuhi. Oh, Lord, that air grab was sick. What was that? That was crazy. Ah, and here we go with Takari in. Jump in. Here we go using the roast to get the side switch, but Takari definitely wanting you to stay in the corner. Ah, this should do? Yeah, this is definitely good stuff. Nice kill by Takari. Finally puts one on the board. Well, one round that is. Ah, very nice for this, but no confirms. The air two airs are real. Ah, and Yuhi. Unfortunately, got side switch. And here we go. And Takani could actually bait that DP, man. Then that DP that burst. This is unfortunate. That being said, Takani is this time around in the corner. Oh, too far to get the conversion off of the snail. Here we go. The wall break. Oh, and that cool says no, he didn't believe in it. Here we go, the, the empty low. Oh, my lord, that is so hard to see. Good stuff for you. He and he is on a match point, set point, actually. What is going to happen? Oh, get scooped by the 2 HS. Get 2 HS. Wow, and uses the rose to prevent you, uh, you can Takarin from, from, uh, from anti airing him. Here we go with the snail, Roman cancel. Wow, the close pressure is real. Oh lord. Ah, and this should do. Good stuff by Takagi. Not going down without a fight. Finally puts one on the board. That being said, you he does have the lead to the one. What is going to happen? We shall see. Okay, and on to the next battle. Here we go, DMT though. Two HS, uh, two S, but nobody home. Wow, and that close S counter hit did a lot of damage. Here we go, the juggle. Time to guess. Wow. And you're here going with the bad moon. And here we go, the 2k 2d for the kill, and Yuhi yet again on match point, let's see if uh, Yuhi can seal it. Here we go in the air to air, and oh good lord, ah that forest though, no conversion though possible from this distance, maybe the sledge I guess, if you do it very early. That being said, here we go with Yuhi man. Yuhi going ham. Oh, look, there's a knockdown. Wow. I go, oh, good lord. Yuhi going completely ham, man. And Takarin on the verge of getting sent to the loser's bracket. Ah, that 4S did a lot of damage. Oh, oh, he got the YRC and he got the burst as well. 
The double read of Yuhi, man, this dude. Holy moly, this Milia. Indeed, yeah. This Milia is crazy good, man. Oh, it's not the winner's final, it's the loser's final. Let me update this real quick. Perfect. That loser's semi final, actually. It's not even the final. Loser's semi. semi final. Okay, here we go. Mugi forcing Yukapelo to pop the burst. Yeah, I think uh, Mugi fought Yukapelo. He's the one to, to have sent Yukapelo in the loser. Oh, no, actually, no, it's not. I, I lied, I lied. I lied. Yeah, first time that uh, they fight it against the other tonight, so let's see how this turns out. God, that run, man. Ooh, Lord. Is Mugi gonna be able to sustain, man? Sustain Yukapelo's very violent, like, uh, tendencies. We shall see. Oh, no, no, we kept the EP and you hate this. Yeah, this is death, actually. Iron Bokeh. <laughs> Iron Bokeh. Here we go, the fart is gonna get the knockdown. <laughs> Good lord, man. You kept it not afraid. Waking up with fart HS is crazy. Gives the grab. Goes for the 2S, but nobody home. Oh, okay, here we go, Mugi starting. Again with the side switch. Oh, Lord, and the no! You capital committed. Again with the side switch. Oh, Lord, how did this hit? Ah, he goes for the quick dust, but oh, a little bit too far to get punished, though. And here we go with this, uh, the side switch yet again. And Mugi is up 1 to 0. Good lord. Okay, on to the next battle. Ah, uh, Mugi gets a knockdown. Ah, gets grabbed though by Yukapiro this time around. Gets grabbed a second time. Oh, nice check right there from Mugi interrupts the Fudra Dark. Ah, here we go, the tick pressure, man. Finally opens Yukapero out. Both out of... Both out of, uh, what's it called? Out of, uh... Burst. And here we go, the Fudra Dark. Ah, oh, good lord. I goes for the Quick Dust, but he was a little bit too far, but it's still okay. Yukapero managed to take it. There we go with uh back to the neutral and that's for S man. Nice block. Oh Lord and that tick. Ah, you hated the guard point. Good stuff. From Mugi is gonna get a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, and that we kept DP though. But be careful, Capito, be careful. I sense a DP, a Leo DP incoming. Just for annoyance. Oh or not, actually. And here we go, the grab. One more grab should do it. Very nice use of the stun the pretty time around. Don't drop it. Okay, good shit. Jump in from you, Capero. Unfortunately, tried to grab his opponent, but Mugi was on point. Backdash and punished accordingly. Oh, Lord, that just defend low. Lord. Ah, no entire right there. Still okay. You got to get the 2k right there. Ah, nice check for Mugi. Ah, he's gonna get the juggle. Ah, goes for the side switch. Yeah, you got doesn't want to stay in place. Gets the open left and right by Mugi. Mugi up 2 2 0. Good stuff. Oh, again, here we go on to the second, the third round. Potential final uh, set between these two. Ah, uh, nice 2D counter. This is a lot of damage. And here we go with the pressure into the overdrive. I love this song. Okay, here we go with the 2S counter hit. This did a lot of damage. Big 6P right there to punish the 4HS from Yukapero. 
It wasn't fortress, I think it's the forest. Okay, and here we go with... Ah, the corner pressure. Ah, nice back dash right there for Mika Pedro gets the side switch. Gets the grab again. Wow, and the pressure is real. Whoa! Here we go, the juggle. Is Mugi gonna be able to take it? Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Oh no! Bad bird, bad, bad DP. Good stuff by Yukapelo staying alive. Oh good lord! We we'll go with the pressure. Nice bag dash on the direct That was sick. Oh, again here we go. Oh no! Nice guard point. <laughs> oh, look. And Mugi just doing this fight to catch the backdashes attempts from Yuka Pero. And almost done. This is set point, by the way. If Mugi wins, it he makes his way to the loser's final. And we'll have to face Takani. Yeah, you can see. Oh, Lord! Oh, no! You hate to see it! Is this gonna be enough? It's not! You hate to see it! No! Oh lord, and the DP! And just like this, you Capito managed to bring it back! Holy freaking lord! That was sick! This is probably going in my, my highlights as well. That was a sick comeback from you Capito, man. Very, very sick. Good stuff. Ah, ah. There you go, that's sick. This is shit! Exactly. That was really sick. Holy freaking lord. Okay, here we go in Moogie Force to pop the burst. Ah, I guess it by the far chest. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Direct left for wall break. Nice with punish, but unfortunately, Mugi was on point. Ah, good stuff from Yukapito gets the kill. Damn, he just needs one more and he'll bring it back. Okay, and Mugi trying to push you Capital ever so slightly in the corner. Gets stunned the bird though. Ah, and here we go to close S to catch the back dash attempt. Capital with a pretty sizable lead. Both have more or less similar resources though. Well, you Capital having the positive bonus though. Yeah, made it so that he could get even more resources. Again with the 2D counter hit, man. Oh lord! And that... Oh no! That for No! No punish on the burst! You hate to see it! Ah, good lord. Ah, this is unfortunate. Ah, this should not kill. Ah, uh, Capello sensing the grab! Oh lord, he got the jump in! Oh no, he tried to read a, a jumping grab. Yeah, I guess. Good lord! A jump, uh, jump out at him. Okay, here we go again with the jump in there. Mugi all again on match point. Nice checks by you, Capilo. Ah, it gets open though. This is unfortunate. You're in limbo, sir. Yeah, you hate to see it. Ah, you hate to see it. I ah, tries to beat the DP. Four for punish, and this should do. Ah, yeah. Good stuff from you, Capilo. He had. Oh, no. Good lord. Are you serious? Damn. That was sick, and Mugi takes it. Okay, Takani versus Mugi. What is going to unfold? Usually, when these two players played, I think there's a slight tendency for uh, for Takarin to uh, end up taking it. But as I have mentioned before, it's uh, only when Mugi picks Nagoriyuki. I don't know uh, what is going to be the outcome of, of this particular match with Mugi playing Leo. We shall see. And you can see, man, Takani being so slippery. Doesn't want to get out of the corner. Man. The defense of Takani is sick. So sick. 
There you go, the Mugi though, cutting right through it like butter. Nice check from Takari. That would have been death. Oh no, and Mugi gets scooped by the command grab. Uh, not enough to kill. You're going Mugi, going on the onslaught. Uh, oh no! Is that the first match? Holy freaking more. That's the first round. Holy, is going down to the wire. Well, it looks like a, a final round of a tournament, of a major. It's so crazy. Both players are being extremely patient with e each other, not overcommitting. So it's probably the reason why it's so hard to find an opening. Here go the lens and get key. And Takarin doing a good job of keeping Mugi out, man. Gets the juggle into the Axel Bomber, man. Look at the damage! You go the Lens Sengeki trying to keep Mugi out, but yeah, Mugi says, nope. I wanna get in. Let me get in. Let me in! <laughs> Let me in, says Mugi. Ah, here we go with the overhead, man. You're in my world now. Okay, and here we go with the juggle, and this should actually do for Mugi. He's gonna take the round back, so one round apiece. Who is going to take it? Good 6P right there from Mugi. From, yeah, from Mugi. Oh, almost got the corner pressure. But yeah, Takarin, just, yeah, no stranger to corner pressure. Here we go, the grab from Takarin. Yo, how are you doing, Punk J? Welcome to the welcome to the stream, man. Oh lord, here we go, the pressure, man. Oof! Here we go, the grab. Ooh, you got snailed! Here we go, the Zvite. Ah, oh, he tried to go for another Zvite. But yeah, Takarin was on point. He was already on it. Oh no, and Mugi gets scooped by the... Yeah, this is death. Bye-bye. Good stuff from Takarin. Goes up 1-0. to zero. Good lord! Okay, here we go to jump out. Oh no, and Takarin jumping incorrectly. What are you gonna do, Mugi? You have to go... Oh! Have to, you have to defeat the cycles if you want to defeat the actual man. Good grab from Mugi gets the side switch. Ah, but yeah, man. Ah, the defense of Takari is crazy. So crazy. Look at the defense. Ah, he gets hit by the snail though. Oh, and here we go with the command grab. You hate to see it. Command grab into actual bomber. How many Axle Bombers can you fit in one Axle Bomber? That is a legit question. Here we go with the Rainwater. Ah, nice switches for the kill by Takarin. Takarin on the verge of uh, taking this round, this match as well. Gets the grab. Wow, good clash in favor of Takarin. Here we go with the shimmy attempts of Takarin using the newly buffed Rainwater. And here we go with the two HS counter. And this did a lot of damage. It's not gonna kill by any means, I think. Is it? Oh, damn, it is gonna kill. I lied. Good lord. And Takarin up 2 0. Lord, that, that combo was sick. It was crazy, man. Good stuff from Takarin. Mugi in Dire Straits, still sticking to Leo. See how this comes out. Gets a grab. Fishing for the grab, the ticket attempt. Oh. 
Here we go with Takanin getting the grab. Ah, okay. Oh lord! That freaking walk was... That run was safe. And here we go with the rainwater counter hit, man. Uh, but did Mugi really want to use his bar here? His burst bar? I, I don't know. Ah, yeah. And just like this, we are on match point. Who is going to take it? Nice air grab right there from Takani. Get the Lensengeki. Yahoo! And here we go with the combos and the Lensengeki and Takani smelling blood. He wants it, man. He wants his run back against you. He He's gonna kill. It is gonna kill again, Takarin. Back to back, man. Three, two. Oh, wow, that would be crazy good. Good evening, Zum. How are you doing? Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie. Let's see how this pans out. So, who is going to take it? We shall see. This is the grand final last set of tonight. Is Takarin gonna make the magic comeback or is Yuhi going to wipe the floor with him? We shall see. Here we go with the delayed overhead. And very nice burst timing made it so that he had the side switch. Takarin definitely playing a lot different than what he played the first time that they fought against each other. Let's see how this spins out. And here we go again with the rainwater. And Takarin, man, just smoldering, man. Smoldering Yuhi. Trying to read the jump ins, the jump outs. Ah, I guess it by the 2HS and still kill even bef uh, even without the side switch. This stuff. We go to the knockdown. Ah, Yuhi gets uh, the... Yuhi melee and grants again? Yeah, Japanese melee players more different. Yeah, I think they're gonna... They're some of the best melee players in the world for sure, man. Tuchiya, uh, to Yuhi. Lots of very good melee players. There are others as well. But yeah, th these two are just... Oh, Lord! And the dust, man, the quick dust combo right there from Yuki. That was sneaky as hell. The sneaky as hell. Mm. Okay, let's see how this spins out. I'll get Takarin going for the uh, the zoning game, but Yuki doesn't want to sit idle. Uh, no jumping. Almost got the jumping. Oh no, unfortunate timing by Yuki. Gonna get Axel Bomber till then. Good grab from Takani. Not enough to kill. Ah, and that air grab by Takarin. That was sick. Good stuff. And Takarin actually manages to take the first game. How is this going to pan out? Yuhi, what is going to happen? Well, Yuhi does just have to take like one set. So it's definitely. He's not in uh, the bad position. He can still. Lose this set and like win the rest, and it's not, yeah, he definitely does not have as much of a hurdle as uh, as Sakani. And here we go with the no wall break, actually. And you see, oh, no, pun unfortunately, can't punish the the snail attempt from Takani. Man, and the cojones of Takani to just freaking run forward and press buttons, nice blocks. Oh lord, and that 2 HS counter, this did a lot of damage. This is gonna do it. No! That was definitely an input error. Ah, and the 2 HS counter hit, man. Not gonna kill. That guy tried to go. Oh, this is. Oh, this could have killed. Oh, he goes for that over the head. And here we go. Man, that guy on point, man. Are we gonna see a bracket reset? That would be sick. That would be really sick. Good lord. And here we go with Yuhi, man. Okay, nice. Close pressure from Takarin. Oh, Lord. And that air tier. Takarin definitely on point. Ah, here we go, the snail. Nice air tier air grab, man. Air grab, that was sick. And Takarin. Oh, no. For Rai gets it even when Yuhi had the burst and tried to burst. Good stuff. Hey, up 2-0. to zero. What is going on? Damn. How is this going to pan out? 
Ah, uh, air to air again and Takari, man. Good stuff from Takari. What is going to happen, man? It's the first time I see Yui so so lost. Yui going for the overhead. Ah, uh, get scooped by the standing S, man. This has been the bane of Yui right now. And Takari taking it with a perfect, nevertheless. Holy freaking lord. I don't know what Yatakarin did, but he's definitely playing different. Ah, oh, gets air grabbed yet again. Nice jump in. Finally forces the burst by Takarin. Ah, oh, Lord in the air to air. Oh, almost got scooped. Nice a bar right there from you. He no, gets grabbed. What's happening? Takarin definitely awakened. What the hell is going on? He plays completely different. And he... Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, this is my... Too far to get the kill. And gets the shimmy, though. And Takarin... Actually, reset the freaking... The freaking bracket. Good Lord. Takarin up 3-0. to The bracket has been reset. Good Lord, what is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Okay, let me update this. So, Yushi is in the losers now, and we have a bracket reset, ladies and gentlemen. Holy freaking lord. Grand final. Reset. Damn, this is crazy. Let's go. Yeah. Takari definitely awakened right there. And here we go with Yuhi going for the overhead. Ah, forces the burst upon Takari. Oh no, get scooped by the grab. You hate to see it. Oh, okay, very nice. Very nice 6P right there from Yuhi. Definitely playing better than last set. Ah, oh, this, you hate to see it. Uh, yeah. I think Yuhi is not used to get a counter hit on that particular move, so he didn't quite know what to do. And the freaking defense of Takarin have been pristine. Good lord. Ah, no jumping. Okay, here we go to close S. Yeah, the FD is definitely like doing a number on the on you here right there. Ah, and here we go with no kill though. And he gets the kill with the 2k TD. Good stuff by Yuhi. Okay, showing some signs of uh ah damn it. Let me yeah. There you go. Okay, and here we go by Yuhi. Yeah, catches the back dash. Goes for the empty low, but Takarin on point. We go with the ah yeah, Yuhi has unlocked the, the, the next level, it seems like. Not playing at all like last time. Good pressure right there from Takarin. Ah, oh, gonna get jumped in on though. I gets hit by the side switch. Good stuff by the cross-up. Good stuff by Yuhi up 1-0. What is Takarin gonna do? We shall see. Oh, look! Too far to get anything. Very nice grab by Takarin. Not afraid to just freaking run straight and grab. Ah, gold burst! Gold burst! Ah, Yuhi getting... Dish mix is using the bad moon to get the side switch uh, to get the, the overhead. <clears throat> Forces that going to pop the burst. And the big 2 HS counter hit this did all this will do it. Big damage. Big chunk of damage. We go Dirbari from Yui. Doesn't want to go out without a fight. Nice 6 speed. And here we go with the wall break! Not enough to kill though. And here we go with the kill by Yuhi. On the verge of taking a pretty hefty lead. Gets hit by the close as though by Takarin. This is... This, oh no! Damn, the recovery of this move though. The, the close S is so annoying. I know, I, I speak of, uh, by... Uh, I speak by um, experience. Takarin does this a lot, it's super annoying. Ah, and here we go the side switch. Oh no, what? Ah, that was definitely an input error. What is going on? Ah, Takarin on point, gets the knockdown. Goes for the quick... Oh lord. 
Yes. That was pretty great. Good stuff from Takari. Not 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 over till it's over, dude. Takari not out of it yet. Ah, uh, no punish. Oh, and the air to air. This is unfortunate for Takari. Forced to pop the burst. Here we go to jump it. Ah, uh, catches the back dash. Gonna get the corner combo. Boom. Good stuff by Yuki. Ah. Uh, Oh lord, and Takai trying to read that back, that, uh, that that aerial attempt. And just like this, Yuki is going to take this match as well. Okay, Takari needs to bring it back, man. But he did take three uh, round, three matches straight up, so it's not impossible. But oh, very nice six period there for um, Yuki. Ah, the pressure, man. Oof. Okay, back to the neutral. Ah, hits him with the far as you hate to see it. And incidentally forces him to pop the burst. Ah, yeah, you can see, yeah. He's fishing with that. Fishing with that far as. Trying to whiff punish something. Ah, and here we go with Takarin <coughs> using the. There's a world. Oh, too bad, so sad. Boom. Yep. Oh, this is. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah, this is gonna kill. Wow. Nice conversion station right there from Yuki. And just like this, we're on tournament points, ladies and gentlemen. The guy needs to make something happen if he wants to take it. A pretty big mirror. Oh, no, that was an unfortunate air grab attempt. And just like this, Yuki is gonna get the wall break. Yuki on the verge, man. Ah, nice. And 2k2d. Oh, lord. Oh, no, and he got the burst. You hate to see it. Uh, this is gonna kill. This is definitely gonna kill. And just like this, you, he is your Brojo Cup number.